On to Latin America, Venezuela's recent changes to its foreign currency system are big problems for companies both inside and outside of its borders. The result has been a massive devaluation of the Bolivar, and that means big losses for multinational firms. Martin Markovitz has this from Caracas. Conrado Sinfuentes has been struggling to keep his lighting company afloat. Dollars are essential to his business, but they are often unavailable or too expensive. We don't have stability, like uh, the exchange for the dollar has been changing so much and that is very difficult for us to understand the, the pricing confirmation of our products. Cifuentes is not alone. Venezuela's currency controls are causing problems for companies big and small. Businesses struggle to get their hands on dollars for imports, making it harder to turn a profit. With revenues effectively trapped in the country by the recent devaluation of the Bolivar, many U.S. companies say their Venezuelan assets now amount to a loss. This after a year that already saw profits sapped by a weakening Bolivar. Pepsi took a 126 million hit in 2014. Coca-Cola lost over 660 million. Ford Motors last month took the bold move of writing off its entire investment in Venezuela. $800 million. The currency move is part of government efforts to counter falling oil prices and an inflation rate topping 60 percent. It is to be a completely free system which will include supply and demand for exchange rates. The market itself will set the rate. Now people can buy dollars at trading houses, but at a cost beyond many Venezuelans' means. But business leaders say that this new market amounts to a massive devaluation, bringing with it more cost to businesses. Francisco Martinez is the vice president of Venezuela's Chamber of Commerce. With the creation of this mechanism, businesses are going to be greatly affected in terms of their production costs in this process of devaluation. Businesses like that of Conrado Sinfuentes are eager for these dollars, but they are wary of the losses they may have to take to get them. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Caracas.